going on guys, my Bitcoin family, Bitcoin family, I want to say something to you, look at this right here, yesterday I posted this for our Discord chat, which also got over 6% in trades yesterday, okay, and those trades are also posted live in the videos yesterday, but I posted the entry point when I'm actually entering them for the, for the, for the patrons, make sure you join that down below if you're interested, and you can see right now, I posted yesterday for the weekly watches that I always do for our patrons, you can see here, weekly watch list, if we hit this blue X or fall below it, or close to it, will be falling much lower. Posted yesterday, you can see right there. Posted yesterday at 10.43, um, very, very early on in the day. And what happened, guys? What actually happened? Well, let me show you what happened. Bang. We dropped a lot. Okay, and there's the X. I didn't move that X. There's the X. 38.745 is where the X is. Like, I'll show you guys what I didn't move the X. Like, oh, you can't see it. Okay, well, it's literally, like, on par with the previous highs. And you can see, like, it's on par with the previous highs. If I go to full hourly, let's just do it the full hourly. You can see it's on par with the previous highs right there. Okay, so brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And um, let's get straight into Bitcoin. Let's make my ugly face a bit smaller. There you go. I still want to scare the views away. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, smash the like button, guys. Bitcoin, you guys, you're a bit slacking. Like, my, my Litecoin videos and my Solana videos. Like, Solana, I started new. And it already overtakes the amount of views I get on my Bitcoin ones. Why is that? It's because you guys don't like the video. Like the video, guys. Like it. Smash it. Okay, smash that like video. Okay, so anyway, sorry about that. But you can see here that if we do close this four hourly below this actual very strong support we've been bouncing above and up, up, up off the 42k range for ages, then this is going to be devastating for you, for you Bitcoin hodlers. Because I don't, I don't hodl. You can see here we just, we, we broke clean out of this 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 MF. We broke clean out of this MF. Okay. And you can see that if we close here, guys, in 16 minutes, we close here. Oh, my. Like, yeah, we might see a bit of a bounce come up. But I'm going to be shorting this MF all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. And even lower. Okay, I'm telling you guys, this is going lower. Okay. This is happening because I, I, I told all my patrons in the morning, I said, okay, by the way, we're getting news of Russia. People hearing bombs around the border. And ever since then, we've been falling from down here, from up here. Literally, I think it was higher than that, actually. Was it here? 19. Yeah, it was here. Yeah, I was right. We broke from around, uh, around there. And that's why that's why we got so many good trades yesterday. And I want to show you guys the daily and the weekly, actually. Let me show you the weekly. Let me go into a different chart for the weekly. Just so you guys can see it and appreciate it. Like, look at this. Okay, so this, this, this is obviously my fib pattern. I, I do look back on every few times. And um, so let me show you guys this, actually. So I actually do, do think that, like, we did bounce off a 382 kind of here. Okay, so I do actually like, understand that there's support there, but overall, anyway, we're not here to look at the fibs. You can see on this previous weekly candle right here, we had a massive high test and a drop down. And right now, we're going to have a massive high test and another drop down. If that does happen, guys, I'm telling you guys right now, that is a tweezer top. That is a tweezer top. If that happens, that is extremely bearish, especially with the weekly about to cross on us right now. Okay, if this closes down here, this is going to cross and this is going to cross. And what does that mean? That means Bitcoin is going to go down. Okay. We crossed here. We drop. Massive drop. Okay. What what percent is, is, is that drop? Where's my where's my ruler at? Show me my ruler. Projection. That will probably work. What is this? What's going on here? Okay. Don't matter. Don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. But yeah. So I think. I do think that we'll see a big drop. Okay. And I believe that really, 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 really harshly in my heart. And if we go to the daily time frame, we can see, like, this, we're having devastating moves right now, guys. Everyone was like, all the moon boys telling you we're going to hold. I said to you guys, as soon as we fell out of this pattern, I told you guys right here, right here, I said we're going to come down and test this level. That isn't a bottom. I said to you guys straight away, as soon as we came out of this, I said, that's not a bottom. That is not a bottom. I told you, I, guys, I'm, I'm literally taught by hedge funds. Okay, I was learned from hedge funds. I know how they trade. I know how banks trade. I know how all of them trade. A bottom is this. This is a bottom. This is a very, very strong bottom. I would have actually gotten on the trade here. Okay, regardless of this, I wouldn't care. I would have gotten on the trade here and held it. Look at the, look at the gains we would have made. Probably would have gotten out about here. Okay, like the truth. No, I'm not going to say to you, yeah, we've gotten out right at the top. You know how it is. No, you want the truth. You watch this channel. Like this is a bottom. You come up. You come down, okay, that's where you get in, previous low, break a low, retest up, you get in on this candle, massive rejection to the downside, you get in on that candle, that massive wick to the downside, you see that right there, you see it, I know you see it right there, okay, you get in there, and you take that all the way up, okay, and look at this, this is this is where banks get in, 
they you come up, you come down, and they flip you over. Like flip you over a little bit. Okay, so everyone think, oh no, it's the end pattern. We're gonna die. And then look, massive rebound candle. Okay, you can also get in on that candle right there. Massive engulfing rebound candle. That is beautiful. Okay, you would get on right there. And look, you would, you would have taken that all the way up. Stop loss below there. That would have been like a 6% trade. Came back down. You get in on there again. Bang, you're up. You're laughing. That's a bottom. Multiple tests. Big drop. Fake out to downside. And you pump. That's a bottom. That's a beautiful bottom. Textbook bottom. Okay. That's what you want to look for in these massive markets. Especially for Bitcoin where uh, manipulation is very high. This. This little pony. This pony thing right here. That is not a bottom. This is just. Uh, okay. Um, coming down. Coming up. Coming down. Now we're going up. For a bigger test down. Like that, this is not what you want to see. This just shows that we had a massive dead cat bounce. And that is scary. Because our dead cat bounce broke us out of our zone. Bulls still couldn't gain momentum off finding support for this invert head and shoulders. We, we went up. Everyone's like, whoa, we're going up. We're going up. We're going up. All the way up. And look, we just we just killed ourselves. We basically shot ourselves in the foot. Like, I'm not going to lie. We shot ourselves in the foot right now. And I'm, all I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, when am I going to start dollar cost averaging into my favorite port position? If you want to know what that is, Patreon down below, nine spots left. And look at this. Like I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting right now. I'm waiting patiently. What am I waiting patiently for? I'm waiting patiently, guys, for potential. Up we go. Up we go. And then a big MF drop. That's what I'm waiting patiently for. Patiently. Like we've fallen really heavily out of this zone. You've got to remember that. Okay. I'm not sure what news came out. We've fallen very heavily. Okay. We got rejected by the EMAs and we dropped. We tanked it down. So we do need to see a bit of a retest up here. So we find so we find our either resistance and start coming down even further. Or we find support somewhere and then start trending and then come lower. Or then actually bounce back up and start making our higher highs, which not going to happen. Um, so that's what I'm thinking right now. Like, guys, we're having food shortages now. Like, things are bad. You've got to understand that. I just want to say, this is this is my fourth video today. My fourth vid... One, two, three. My fourth video today. Okay, make sure you guys subscribe, comment, and like the video. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.